So, uh, let's start from uh, common speech and aesthetic medicine. If to divide it on cosmetology and surgery, uh, we will see that um, there are some difference between aesthetic medicine and general medicine. And the first difference will be in uh, reasons and causes why patients come in. And that's the main problem in development of side effects also, believe me. Because in a general medicine, the patient's coming for getting help in cases of disease. And they waiting for miracle from doctor, miracle in saving their lives. Um, in in um, backing, backing quality of their life. But from aesthetic medicine, patients usually waiting, not backing quality. They waiting for increasing of their quality of life. They wanting to become better. They wanting to become more beautiful, or they want to back their uh, young age, young women. So uh, they want real miracle because in general medicine we treating, we caring, we saving, uh, we trying to do our best just to. Uh, back the patient in normal life. But uh, about something uh, incredible, something miracle, but an aesthetic medicine, that's normal. So, in aesthetic medicine, manipulation is always dividing on invasive and non invasive. And that's also an important thing because less invasive our technologies and our methods, less so I will start, of course, from psychological points. Um, the, our body is the best what was created by nature. And we should always remember about this. That's the most uh, harmonical thing in the world. All our organs, uh, tissues, and cells connecting with each other and depending from each other. Um, it's a whole body. It's a whole organism. And it functioning all together. I know that you know these things. Yes, that's the standard school information. But unfortunately, in our routine life, we're always forgetting about this. And once again, when the patient coming into general medicine, we, of course, are um, thinking about psychological side of his treatment. But in aesthetic medicine, psychology plays a very important role. Because before starting of any manipulation, we should understand why the patient came to us. Why he wants to become more beauty. Or why he wants to change something in him. Why he wants from us something that from sometimes, from our opinion, not needable. That's a psychological problem. So the aesthetic doctor should always be a good psychologist. And he should understand reasons for patients' um, wishes. If doctor not understanding, if he's just doing his job, doing good sometimes, he, know, he can know a lot of manipulations and procedures. He can be very good professional in his area. But if he's not understanding the patient as a human, as a person, he, if he's not understanding the reasons for coming to doctor, unfortunately, side effects develop more often than in other cases. Well, the first point, mostly you're working with skin, yes? And in surgery and in cosmetology. Skin for us, um, for most of uh, doctors, it's an organ with which we can do everything we want. Am I right? I think that most of you thinking like this. Well, skin is the largest organ. Mm, it is very strong. You can burn it. You can cut it. You can excise it. You can make uh, a lot of different manipulations, scrubbing it. Um, you can remove superficially from it and it will heal. Well, that's a good opinion, but not right. 
skin never forgetting anything what you're doing with it and uh, skin never forgiving all your manipulations skin yes it is the largest organ in the body uh, and in the same time it is the i think that the most clever organ why because we always uh, remember from school from universities that the organ which controlling all functions is brain other organs just doing what the brain will let's say like this say yes the brain sending impulses and other organs functioning that's a little bit mistaken opinion because yes brain is central organ Central nervous system really controlling everything. But, for example, in skin, if you will see on the pre look at the picture, you will see quantity of cells that reagating on any changes, and that's the first barrier and the first organ which uh, sending impulses and controlling all functions. If skin will say that it's cold, the heart will pump faster and so on and so forth. You understand what I'm talking about? And um, the skin structure, very, very difficult. Even this superficial layer that you can see here, epidermis, we're thinking, well, it's all the time regenerating. We can do a lot of things with it because it will really regenerate, will heal. Unfortunately, that's not always like this. This layer is very thin and very sensitive and has a lot of receptors that in result will, uh, can give a lot of <clears throat> reactions, sometimes even inadequate. If to hear uh, the most important cells that reagating on all our actions, that's macrophages, the mast cells, that stimulating blast cells, lymphatic vessels that also uh, reagating on any changes on the superficial in superficial lace of the skin and of course uh, cd cells that's um, the line of lymphatic cells that also uh, has responding for immune super, uh, immune uh, reactions why i'm talking about this because this structure of skin should remind you that any actions can lead to complications can lead to side effects you can't uh, even suppose reaction of skin on your actions but you should try to suppose and you should try to predict any side effects development if we are uh, talking about immune system unfortunately nowadays uh, immune system reactions very different from those about which we read in books um, about standard reactions, we know everything, not like everything. We're thinking that we know everything about immune system. We know nothing in reality. And uh, today we can give, we can get side effects when it is it was even impossible to suppose that that's such possible. Uh, for example, simple um, laser treatment of skin, uh, laser renovation it should stimulate normal physiological regeneration. But in resulting, we getting or burn or scarring or any other deformities or allergic reactions of the skin. Why? Because of inadequate immune system reaction. So always think uh, about such possible uh, reactions when you're starting to walk with patients. If I talk, uh, started to talk about regeneration, um here you really need to know the difference between types of regeneration from um histology you should remember that regeneration can be of three types three main types it's cell regeneration it's cell and intracellular regeneration and intracellular for us as we work in mostly with skin interesting cell regeneration that's skin uh, regeneration uh, gemopoietic system, mucose membranes, uh, what, that's what interesting for us. From physiology and pathophysiology, we remember that regeneration has also three types. 
physiological, that's during all life. That's what we call in uh, <clears throat> regeneration, and that's what we always promise in aesthetic medicine to patient, that after our manipulation, your skin will regenerate normally, physiologically, you will become younger, the uh, cutting line will heal without any problems, without any signs, that after our manipulation will be no complications and no signs because will be regeneration. That's not true. 